Block lag may be the most frustrating thing in the game, and here is a great way to eliminate it. Hello everybody and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. Playing with lag can be super frustrating, especially if you're in a PvP situation where even the slightest amount of difference in your normal gameplay can be the end of you. So here is a nice one command block, one command creation that will reduce lag guaranteed. So we are going to be creating a world here. We're gonna call it no lag and log <laughs> no lag. And we're gonna set ourselves to creative. Whenever you create a world for the first time, and by the way, this is compounded 10 times with a uh, multiplayer. Uh, the world actually has to generate. So you can see all of this area around me is actually built and made as I fly towards it. You can actually see it a lot better if we go to video settings, set it to 32 chunks. Oh my gosh. So you can see all of these chunks that are being made here are actually affecting my computer's performance. Now, right here on single player, it's uh, not nearly as bad as it gets on multiplayer. And uh, that is because I'm only a single player. Uh, but you can imagine that if you have a server with, uh, let's say, 16 players, and then you teleport them uh, within a big radius and all in a random uh, location. Now, this may seem like a crazy hypothetical, well, but that's exactly what you do whenever you play UHC is you teleport players, you do a spread player command over maybe a thousand blocks so that all the players are very far apart and then they go find each other and kill each other. Now, once you do that, the server that you're running or the computer that it's running on actually has to generate the chunks that these players are going to see, which can cause lots of lag because it takes a lot more processing power to generate a chunk for the very first time than it does to load a chunk that has already been generated. Basically, once it's generated, it stores it on the hard drive and it can go back and find it later. So the best thing to do would be to pre-generate a world, but that can be difficult because a lot of the tools like World Edit, uh, once you generate it through World Edit, it's not quite perfect. It kind of has a little bit of bugs. And so what you would really, really want to do is use the vanilla game in order to generate this structure or generate this world. So that is where our tip comes in. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is teleport yourself to zero, zero. And either you can uh, get there by doing the little tilde or you could uh, go way up in the air and then fall down. So we want to be right bloop, there. Let's go ahead and build up just a bit. Next, we're going to want to give ourselves a command block. So give me command block. There we go. Place that down and paste the super long command inside of here. And when I say super long, I mean this baby. This is a this is a long this is a long command. Ain't never seen a, long, a command this long. Uh, and set this to always active and then hit start and it will generate this. It'll also set you in spectator mode woo now in the description there are a few instructions uh first is to be near zero zero which we already did set your render distance to eight chunks of course you just saw me set it to 32 so we're gonna have to bring this down quite a bit and hit done there you go it's definitely eight chunks there and uh finally use this command to start and that is scoreboard uh, players set at a running to one and you're going to hit enter and you can see a little bit of info over here on the side. You can see the ticks at which the server is running at and you can also see the radius that you have completed thus far. This is moving out from zero zero. You can see zero zero right over there. And it is going to move me around in basically a spiral, almost like a snake, a coiled snake uh, uh, sort of thing. And it is going to teleport me so that it will generate this world and it will get all of the world. And it's using vanilla Minecraft in order to create it. Now, of course, I don't want to move uh, my player. All I really want to do is walk away. 
uh, walk away from this and let it generate itself. Now it will get exponentially longer to generate uh, the radius. So we went from zero to 100 pretty fast, from 100 to 200 a uh, little bit slower, and then 200 to 300, that's gonna take even more time, to 400, even more time. So it will be an exponential growth, and that is because you're moving further and further away, and the circumference around that you have to generate becomes longer and longer. But basically, you can just walk away at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop it there, but if you were playing in UHC, you would want to basically have a good idea of how far you want this to be generated. Uh, 1,000 blocks, 2,000 blocks, uh, that's good. And remember that it is a radius, so we are at 300 now. That means that there are a there is 600 blocks uh, between the uh, two sides of the generation, which is uh, which is quite nice, I gotta say. Uh, and once you're finished, all we're gonna do is set this from one to zero and hit enter, and we're gonna fall out of the world, ah, oh, smack. And we are back at zero, zero, and the command blocks have been destroyed, which is, uh, which is quite nice. And that is the easiest way to stop server lag. This is an awesome job by Lorgon111, Brian MCN, a good friend of mine. And also, um, I'm using a command that was updated uh, by Andrelvox, uh, which was in the comments of that original video for Minecraft 1.11. The original video was for Minecraft 1.9. So uh, big thanks to both of you guys. And I uh, can't wait to see what you guys make next. Uh, okay, that's uh, about it for this episode. Make sure that you give a like, give a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. Make sure you subscribe for future videos and I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.